factor 4x squared minus 12xy plus 9y squared. Again, this is a bit more complicated than the other ones we saw because there's two variables, but we do see some terms that are perfect squares, so we use that to our advantage. The first term, 4x squared, is a perfect square. It's the quantity 2x squared. The last term is also a perfect square. 9y squared is the quantity 3y squared. If we multiply those together, 2x times 3y, that gives us 6xy. And if we take twice this much, or if we double it, we get 12xy. So this is a perfect square trinomial. But because the middle term is negative, that means that instead of factoring this as a sum times a sum, it's going to be a difference times a difference. So it's going to be 2x minus 3y times 2x minus 3y. Or, for those of you who like to write it as something squared, it'll be 2x minus 3y quantity squared. Much less work than trying to use the AC method on this problem.